In order to compete at the World Championships in Delaware, punk and chunkin' rookies, not in my driveway, they believe that going bigger is better. I've always wanted more power, bigger rig, go bigger, stay home. Brian and Don believe an additional seven-foot extension to their throwing arm could be their key to success. This is stainless steel exhaust pipe. Brian was going to use what he needed on his snow cat. This is what's left over. By adding length to the catapult, they believe that this salvaged exhaust pipe will propel their pumpkin 500 feet farther than they've ever shot before. Today is their first test fire with the new modifications. I'm pretty nervous about our new beam tip. Got about almost 200 man hours into this. Hopefully, it's going to work. Crossing our fingers, knocking on steel. Safety's off. Their hopes of being on the Punkin' Chunkin' podium in their first year ever depend on their new tip extension delivering results. And the sound of springs start to come. Springs are always talking to us. How's it looking? We're going to release 8,000 pounds of tension all at once, and nothing is going to stop that. This is a deadly machine. If, if you're in the wrong area, you're done. If it reached out and grabbed one of us, grabbed part of the trailer, it's going to go with it. Three, two, one, fire in the hole! Wow! That's called a catastrophic failure. Yeah, that right there is a failure of our new beam. The recycled exhaust pipe tip extension was not strong enough to sustain the 8,000 pounds of tension unleashed by the machine. So I had about 20, 30 hours into that new beam, and to have it fail in the first shot, that's very disappointing. This is carnage right here. Yep, that's back to the drawing board, back to the garage, back to my driveway. Maybe it's time for these scrappy purists to start spending some real dollars. You want me to buy heavier wall tubing? Yes. I had this for free. Can, Don, can I borrow your credit card again? No. 